Hello, welcome to Book of Erica, the place where we talk about all things bariatric surgery, pre-op, post-op, and life after bariatric complications. If you're new here, my name is Erica, and I am a almost 12-year veteran of the gastric bypass surgery. I am not a medical professional. I am an almost 12-year veteran of the gastric bypass surgery, and my goal here is simply to share my journey and what I have learned through the years so that you can go into your weight loss surgery journey with a little more knowledge than I had going into mine. If that kind of information seems interesting to you and you'd like to see more of it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell notification so that you can know when I post a new video. Today I'm going to give you a brief update of how things have been going and kind of let you know what my plan is moving forward. So we'll start with the challenges because it's always easier to see the negative things, right? So right now my challenges are time because I do work two jobs and I'm trying to do this also and there's a five month old in my house on a regular basis and yeah, just all the things. My goal is to try to get on top of that. I've also had a little bit of sickness going on, some stomach pain kind of issues. So, I've given a lot of thought and I'm going to try to get back to the basics of bariatrics. Get back on plan, if you will, back on the wagon. So, I'm going to revisit some of just the things that we needed to do post-operatively that I've gotten a little lax about, especially with COVID. So maybe in the grand scheme of things, that's going to get better. As such, I'm going to be starting a series of steps that you can take preoperatively to help you postoperatively be successful. Just a few tidbits, so keep an eye out for that. I figured I could share with you what I'm revisiting so that you can kind of start off on the right foot. It's a win-win situation, right? Now, this week's wins are that I'm still showing a loss despite not having the time to pay the attention that I should. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog scratching her dog bed in the background. <laughs> she, my dining room is attached to my kitchen and she is yeah, making herself comfortable. So I'm not on track for where I want to be but I'm moving forward and that's the goal, right? I'm going to challenge you all as you're going into this. If you're wanting to get down to, I want to know exactly where I'm going, look at week to week. And I do track week to week every Monday. Um, but also look at month to month because the day to day and the week to week can leave you feeling really badly about, okay, well, I gained this week and that's really a letdown and I feel terrible about it. If you will look at the numbers of where you were at the first of the month and compare them to where you are at the end of the month or the beginning of the next month, the first of the next month, you're going to get a much better picture of where your overall progress is headed. I'm going to challenge you not to focus on daily weigh-ins, but to look at week to week and then also compare month to month. And on top of that, do your measurements because the scale, the scale is not your friend. It's not my friend and I'm 12 years after this surgery. It is just the measurement of gravity's pull on your body mass. That's it. That's all it is. So it can fluctuate based on a whole lot of things. It can be inaccurate. And especially once you've lost your weight, like according to what my surgeon told me last, I'm packing around 20 plus pounds of excess skin. So my scale tells me that I'm 20 pounds heavier than I actually really am, which I mean, 20 pounds can put you at an overweight BMI, but you're perfectly healthy. Okay. So just keep those things in mind. Don't get so fixated on the number. Um, anyway, and as long as those numbers are trending downward, the overall aspect of it, 
is trending downward, then you're headed in the right direction. Don't get bent over not being where you want it to be. Oh, I had a goal to lose six pounds and I didn't. You know, it as long as you lost some, you're still headed in the right direction. Okay, so you guys are watching this to see where I'm at. And going forward, I'm going to give you monthly updates instead of weekly updates just because it was very difficult to get the weekly updates out to you and I want to give you content that is going to provide you with stuff you need to know. So I'm going to do a monthly weight update to kind of let you know where I'm at, what I'm doing. And then um, I'm going to fill the rest of the month up with some videos about topics that I know I had questions about um, <clears throat> when I was headed into this journey. And as you guys give me questions, I would be glad to make videos about those. But anyway, let's get to the numbers. So my highest ever weight was 311 pounds. Um, my weight on surgery day was 292.6 pounds. When I started trying to lose my regain back in September, I was 186 pounds. And at the beginning of April, I'm 175.2 pounds. So that gives me a loss of 3.4 pounds for March. Not where I wanted to be. My goal for March was to lose 6 pounds, but 3.4 is not bad. So I'm calling it a win. It's still downward trend, y'all. And that is the goal. And that is not quite a pound a week, but you know, it is what it is. That is a total loss of 10.8 pounds since September, which again, that's been you know, several months ago, but 10.8 pounds less than I was several months ago. So still a win. I am still 21.2 pounds away from my overall goal that I've set for myself by July. And that brings me to 117.4 pounds less than I was the day of my surgery. That's like my daughter. <laughs> so you know, a whole other adult has shed off of me since surgery. That is where I'm at. I'm still using my tracker every month. This is what my update looks like for April. And I lost 3.4 pounds, which did not meet my goal. But I lost 2.75 inches overall in the process. So the inches can really make a big difference. The inches is where the clothing sizes change, y'all. So pay attention. My goals for April are, again, to lose six pounds. My job is very sedentary, so I want to make sure that I'm walking every day. I've got physical therapy exercises I'm supposed to do to build my core that I have not been doing at all. So since I'm starting from not doing it at all and given what my schedule is and that I need to build the habit. I want to do it at least twice a week. And then I've been struggling to take my medicines. So I'm trying to make myself take my medicine, all of it in its entirety. It does not count unless I took all of it. Um, I'm trying to take my medicine five days a week minimum, which is going to be a thing for me. So, because I'm terrible about it. But anyway, um, that is where I'm at and I will talk to you all in May about this type of update. I will see you next week. Bye.